Hello everybody, my name's Andy and today is the 26th of May, 2020, and I've set some goals for May. And I'm making progress towards fulfilling those goals, but last week was like, ah, 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 ah. So um, stay tuned to find out what happened. So I had quite a challenging week last week. Um, I mean, challenging as far as my goals go, not in any other area of my life. You know, I've, I've got no financial problems. I'm, I'm not ill. I don't have any health problems. I don't have any relationship problems. So last week, it was a bit challenging. I had a, um, a Polish lesson and I've got an Italki teacher. So I've had three lessons with her so far. The first lesson was fine. It was it was really good. Um, I spoke loads of Polish and I felt like I didn't really realise, you know, how much I, I knew. So she set me some exercises for the second lesson and I found that a bit challenging and a struggle and it sort of took me out of my comfort zone, which was fine. Um, but I said to her, well, I feel like I need to go back to basics a bit. You know, I need to go back and do um, some of the basic verbs and, you know, the grammar, which I think was a bit of a mistake, really, because I think there's acquiring language and learning language. And when you're learning a language, you're being taught the grammar and, you know, all the systematic way you go through a language. But um, acquiring a language is actually more efficient, you know, by sort of absorbing. And you, I don't think you really need to know the grammar until much later on. I mean, it's good to know grammar and it's good to know how that language works. But I don't know if you're the same as me, but when I was at school and we had all those grammar drills, and I just felt like um, sw I switched off, you know, it was so boring and I just didn't get it. So anyway, the same thing happened really basically in my Polish lesson. The teacher gave me all these verb tables to go through. Um, but the problem was um, she did literally go through them systematically one by one. So it was like, um, um yeah, ma'am, you know, um, Timash and, and so on. I'm not even going to say any more because they're so, they're so boring just to repeat them over and over like that. So what happened was um, I actually switched off and I started getting them all wrong. And I think the teacher was like, oh, uh, okay, okay like, um, I think we'll have to do the nom nominative case this week and the accusative case next week. And I, and I, I said, really? Um, I'm not sure if that's a good way. And she said, no, no, you need to go back to basics. And it made me realize, um, had I regressed in, in Polish? No, I don't think I had actually regressed. I was just putting a block up um, to this kind of this kind of teaching. And I don't think she's necessarily a bad teacher, you know, but actually it left me feeling quite stressed and um, quite sort of deflated. I was thinking, oh, my Polish has got worse. Um, you know, I'm supposed to be progressing and, and getting better. So a bit later on in the week, I put, um, I was trying to do juggling and I was in a bit of a bad mind state. Um, really, I was thinking, you know, I'm not making much progress with these languages. It's all really struggling. Do I carry on? You know, do I just give up now? Which isn't very much like me because I'm, I'm quite a positive person and I'm quite um, determined as well. Um, so that only lasted about 10 seconds, actually, that feeling. No, it was a bit longer than that. But So I put some a CD on, and um, I just picked up a random CD. I have stockpiles of CDs in my kitchen, and most of them are language learning CDs. But some are actually music as well. And so I put on um, a Polish learning language CD, as you do, and I started trying to juggle two balls. And previously, I'd been dropping the balls on the floor, so I'd been dropping... Um, after about three, four throws, which wasn't very good. Um, cause at some stage I'd gotten up to about 20 throws and I suddenly, I was listening to this Polish CD and I was in a different time in a different, um, mind zone. I probably was in a different time zone as well, probably the seventies or something. Anyway, um, I started juggling with my left hand, which is the weaker hand. And I juggled about 50 throws in one go. And I thought, Oh, I've done it. Uh, this is it. I've done the challenge. I just need to put it all together now. And as soon as I thought that, it, all the balls dropped and um, I was out of that mind zone again. So I think that 
the language learning process and juggling learning process and any learning process, um, it's important to be in that in that mind space. Um, and it's also made me realise that um, how big a part intuition plays in language learning as well as, um, you know, systematic vocabulary cramming and all those things that you do. So when we talk about um, input and output with a language, we're talking about um, reading and um, listening at the inputs and writing and speaking at the outputs. But I think also there's something else that's a process in language learning that's an, out, an output. And it's um, sort of when all those things come together and you can start thinking in a language. Well, it's the same with juggling. If you can start thinking um, in the sort of mindset of how the juggling works, it's it's hard to explain because it's something that's um, not tangible, but it's something that's like the glue that holds it all together. So basically, that was my experience of um, of learning this week. And even though at some stage I felt like I'd regressed and I was put in a block to learning, um, I think sometimes you have to go through a phase like this in order to progress on. And it makes you realise how, um, you know, what, what you need to do to learn. So on that note as well, um, I think it's important to learn to to change your routine as well. So um, with juggling being an example, I was going through um, systematically trying to learn how to juggle two balls in this hand and then two balls in this hand. And, and if it wasn't working, I was going back to an earlier method, which was throwing just one ball and these two, you know. So, um, this didn't actually work for me because at some stage I'd gone over it so many times, so many times it was actually quite boring and quite um, sort of tedious. It made me feel like I was regressing in the in the learning process. So I put, went back to juggling three balls and I started trying to do three balls with um, combining with this exercise. So I was sort of intuitively um, doing my own learning style, if you like. So I was watching all these um, videos on YouTube of in instructional videos on how to juggle. And at first I was thinking they're instructions. So I'm trying to learn bit by bit how they're instructing me. And then suddenly with this intuitive um, mindset, I was thinking, actually they're teaching me, but I'm they're Hopefully they're enabling me to do my own thing to learn how to juggle, if that makes sense. And it's the same with languages. So when I go back to my next Polish lesson, which isn't until next week, um, I'm going to say to her, look, I think um, I would much prefer just to do more of a variety in the le in the lesson. You know, I don't want to just kind of go have, if I'm going through something, I don't want to just go through A, B, C, D, E. We want to do things in small chunks and learning efficiently. You have to um, step away from learning sometimes and come back to it, step away and come back. So you need that space between. And it's like that with my juggling and um, things. So I've got a bit of space at the moment. Um, in a minute, I'll be going back to doing a bit of Kurdish learning and then I'll have a bit of space and then I'll have a Kurdish lesson this afternoon. And then I'll probably upload this video later. And then I'll probably do a bit of Chinese learning later on in the evening. So I'll be spacing it and pacing it out as you know, through the day. So don't get stressed with language learning. Um, so I'd be grateful if um, you have any comments on this, anything I've said in this video. Um, and also um, if you have subscribed, but you haven't yet hit the bell icon, please do that because that will notify you of any future videos. I'll be uploading and um, if you like my videos and haven't yet subscribed please do so so by the end of the month or just shortly after the end of the month maybe I'll be posting my um, three target language videos and I'll just be speaking in those languages um, I don't know if I'll hit my goal of being able to do a five minute video of each uh, language I probably will in Chinese um, the Polish one not sure and Kurdish probably not, but um, if I can't, then I'll be, you know, making more goals for next month. And um, 
will I be able to juggle four balls by the end of the month? I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, stay safe. Thanks for watching.